Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is an introduction to the free Teach Yourself Excel course that you can find on ExcelExperts.com. What we're going to have a look at today is why on earth would you want to use Excel? Well, there's many reasons. First reason is to save time. If you're somebody who works in a company that uses Excel and you do the same thing twice, you can save time by writing an Excel spreadsheet to help you do that repetitive task. You can reuse calculations. So suppose you used to do your VAT calculation on a calculator and used to go through all the numbers and type them all in. And what happened if you made a mistake? You'd have to go back to the beginning. Well, with Excel, you just type in the numbers and you can reuse any calculations that you've ever done before. So if you want to add a bunch of numbers together, use Excel. To save time, you need to invest time, your own time, to learn how to use Excel. If you use it efficiently, I guarantee you can go home early or progress your career faster. Second reason is to reduce the possibility of errors. So going back to the calculator versus Excel, a calculator is absolutely no competition for a well-designed Excel spreadsheet in the ability to reduce errors. You can add a lot of error checking into Excel in order to improve the quality of the data that goes into your calculation. And also, going back to the last point, you can reuse your calculation. So if you've done it once and you've done it correctly, you don't need to do it again. A badly designed Excel spreadsheet will massively, potentially increase the possibility of error. So although Excel can be excellent if it's badly designed you can get yourself in a lot of trouble to perform complex calculations Excel is a fantastic place you can do a lot of things that you would never be able to do on a calculator in your head or on paper and you can do them all with minimal effort some people even write proprietary derivative trading systems in Excel Complex calculations, as the ones that you can find on ExcelExperts.com for the buy or rent calculator, for example, can help you make more informed decisions and improve your wealth. Control of your personal data. Now, nobody likes to share their personal data like their expenses or, or even risk sharing it or entering their share positions on a... Um, on an external site. So if you use Excel to manage your share profit and loss or um, or your expenses, you control that data. You don't give that data to anyone else. So that's, that's pretty useful to you. It also means that these other people can't spam you with useless products that you actually don't want. You can easily summarize enormous amounts of data within Excel through the use of pivot tables. If you have a look at this course, you'll see the power of pivot tables. It's really, really clever and can save you a huge amount of time and potential errors in summarizing, slicing and dicing as much data as you want. Flexibility. Excel is a really great sketch pad. I've written anything from a shopping list, a wedding list, a baby list to two-player Tetris or even derivatives trading. If you're designing a large system, Excel is absolutely the perfect tool for prototyping. Let's take the case of um, a builder. Um, so suppose you wanted to build an enormous building. You wouldn't go up to your builder and say, I've got this idea in my head, can you build me this big building? No you do a small scale plan and maybe even a little model to prove that the building works conceptually and show it to your builder and then he would go and build the big thing. Similarly with an IT system you can use Excel for the for the prototyping just to get something up and running and maybe even it'll it'll work um, all the time. 
Why should you use Excel as a consumer where well, you could make money? Um, a good Excel VBA developer can make a lot of money. The reason that this is so valuable and such a valuable skill is that automating tasks can improve efficiency to a business and therefore this is extremely useful. If I, have, if I pay somebody £100,000 a year to do a repetitive task that I can just create a spreadsheet to do it and it will continue doing that forever, the saving is potentially enormous. Save money. So if I'm a company and I'm considering a large IT expenditure, why not ask the question, is Excel good enough for our needs? Maybe it is. Maybe you don't even know what it does. So what do you do next? If you want to find more about Excel or learn it yourself, go to excelexperts.com and go to the Teach Yourself Excel section. From here you'll get course outline, you'll get instructions on how to go from a blank spreadsheet to a complete expense tracking system in 27 easy steps. Each step takes a few minutes and if you want to know more about Excel or even become an Excel expert, join excelexperts.com and ask on the forum more questions. You've been listening to excelexperts.com. Good luck with the course.